My name is James Harley. I'm a Prince2 and Managing Successful Programmes trainer here at Knowledge Train. I graduated from Leeds University back in 1988, uh, spent 12 years working for Boots the Chemist. Uh, that's where I started my project life because as soon as I got into there, they threw various projects at me. I've then done work subsequently for both public and private sector, moved more into programme management during the latter stages. Uh, my career, which is where the training has come in, which has involved mentoring, training, coaching, lots of new people or inexperienced people into project teams, change teams, etc. Uh, direct project management, um, I've got at least 30 years experience as my diary and calendars now tell me and that has also involved 30 years of what I call professional training. Um, also done a lot of uh, junior and adult sports coaching, education, and that started when I was 14, and I'm still doing that now. I'm currently a rugby and junior cricket coach. The number of people I've trained over the years probably runs into the thousands, lost count over the years. Um, been doing a Prince2 and MSP training on and off since 2001, so I have lost count of the number of people. Pass rates, uh, foundation into the 99%. Uh, yes, we do all have the odd uh, person who doesn't get through first time, practitioner, um, low 80s percent um, at the moment, but it does vary again from week to week and has varied over the years uh, depending on the experience of clients and delegates that attend the courses. I've always had this sort of bend of wanting to help people. Um, you know, I always think training should be about sort of problem solving, they gain things from it. Uh, again, things they can take away from it and use, but uh, as I said, it's trying to help them solve the problem rather than me trying to dictate them. So I think that's part of coaching and training anyway. You get them to recognise what the issues are, you get them to recognise what the best solutions are. Uh, my training style is very much more open, workshop, not dictatorial. I don't believe in doing that. And it's giving examples, getting them going back to the problem solving thing I like, I'll let them to solve the problem. So I very often get them to come up with the answer and then we'll look at what the book says and try and compare the two and where there may be differences. So very much a work workshop style, open style. Um, if they understand it, then they can solve problems. You know, it shouldn't be me dictating because um, that sends them to sleep. When I started training, particularly within project management, predominantly it was people from an IT, information technology, computer background. That has then changed over the years, uh, that people from all sorts of disciplines, I've done a lot of training internationally, um, it's a lot more of a challenge when it's non technically based, if it's you know, a lot of construction or information technology, it's a little more straightforward. We get a lot more people now um, from people backgrounds uh, and that's made it, makes it much more challenging, makes it much more interesting for me as well. People are also a little more selective these days. We used to get what I call the sheep dip approach. Organisations would just send everyone on the course. They don't do that now. The people, most of the people who attend now want to be there rather than being told, thankfully. Makes it a little bit easier on me, makes it easier on them, they enjoy it a little bit more if they want to be there.